Apple just announced Apple Vision Pro MVP a few days ago, and now everybody's talking about it because it might change our world forever because of cutting edge technology taking us to the future. And it could also be a little bit buzz in the tech industry and doesn't last long because adoption rate is very low. The price is too high. Now, let me bring you into the real world top five use cases of Apple Vision Pro and see how it's going to change our day to day life. And make sure to stay until the end of the video where we'll I talk about use case number five because it might creep you out. Now, let's step into the future created by Apple Vision Pro. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product and feature in Forbes. I've helped 100 people land their dream PM job offer in fan companies, a unicorn startup, and continue to get promoted as a product leader. To learn the latest tech news and product management knowledge, make sure to subscribe to our channel, turn on the bell button to so notify every time until a new video every Tuesday. Before I talk about the top five real life use cases, let's admit that it is the best VR headset in the market. And there are so many groundbreaking technology built into Apple Vision Pro. Now let me share with you the foundation so that everyone can be on the same page regarding the top three things I actually really like about Apple Vision Pro and also different flaws within the design. For example, the number one thing I was so impressed is eye tracking technology. It was able to highlight any apps that your eye look into here and there and there on the screen and blow up the app itself. And this just turned into minority report movie thing. It's become a reality. When you want to click any individual app, you can just tap the fingers and in different directions in front of it in many different places. The second thing I'm very impressed is how it's going to project your image of the eyes in front of the VR goggle. So this is not see-through feature and actually it's like insider lens and outsider lens and help you to display your eye so that you, it's easy for you to interact with the real world around you without taking off your VR goggle. And this is the only has I was able to have this kind of feature right now. This is also going to help you reduce the vision sickness and help you to enjoy the real world and virtual world together. The third thing I want to highlight is actually the price. It is quite spicy. $3,500 for a headset. You can buy four iPhones using the same amount of money. So therefore, there won't be fast adoption, but Apple, this is just the introduction of its new product. And in the future, I believe it's going to introduce different tiers of the product and introduce entry level of Apple Vision basic product as well. I'm also going to talk about other exciting features and design flaws throughout the rest of the use case study. Now, use case number one. Wearing Apple Vision Pro, you're able to get exposure to immersive movie experience. This is probably one of the best VR movie experience I ever find in the market right now. I did very in-depth research about this product, so many reviews about it. Everybody's talk about they really enjoy the movie experience. It's gonna project the movies in real size, any size. You can drag your fingers around the screen. It also has a stereo sound system for you to listen to the movie to make it feel like you're part of the movie yourself as well. However, there are several limitations and design flaw related to this use case. The number one biggest challenges is that the use case itself is only for an individual person, it's not for a group, not for society, not for the family. For example, anytime when I watch a movie, I love to watch it with my family, with other friends and my husband, so that we're able to have a discussion with other people. Now, if you watch a favorite movie, just such as Baby Yoda through Apple Vision Pro and looks like every members of your family should wear an Apple Vision Pro. So I don't think it's actually encourage everyone to have a bond actually separating the society. Think about if you and your kid, your family member fall in habit of do your own thing by yourself, watch your video by yourself, live in your own virtual environment forever. It's just not good for the society development and how people originally was formed through building relationship with each other. The second design flaw is the battery lifetime is only two hours. And however, I think this challenge can easily be solved. You can replace your battery or have an extension cord to connect your battery with a wall. And I don't think it's a big challenge at this moment for majority of the user because it's going to make the headset much lighter by moving the battery into your pocket. And the third design for is actually the weight of the headset. It's about one pound. Think about how you're able to watch any movie that's longer than two hours and wearing something for one pound. And I think I will feel a little bit uncomfortable if I finish any movie end to end that's two hours long. Apple actually sacrificed the weight by the look of the design because introducing aluminum metal to make it look really sick and beautiful. This is a typical style of Apple design. So they decided not to use plastic. That's the trade-off making it heavier. 
The second use case of Apple Vision Pro is VR robotics integration. If you have followed the trend of VR robotics integration, you can see the industry has developed so much faster and so significantly in the past few years, especially with the introduction of 5G and the different companies introducing their own VR headset, different companies really trying to find different applications out there. For example, and people already trying to experiment with VR headset, integrating with medical operations procedure, or you're able to remote control your robot using VR headset, and the robot is going to deal with infectious disease. And those are still being studied in different universities and in a prototype phase with different companies. When I launched the first 5G Edge computing product, actually we did the very first like remote surgery. In this case, the doctor was in Boston and the animal itself was in San Francisco. So this has been done. So now with Apple Vision Pro, it's actually going to advance the remote surgery procedure. So I'm very excited about this new technology. Then actually in those robotics manufacturing facilities people want to train technicians using robot but it's quite dangerous it's also very expensive for them to operate real robot at the beginning of training process so you're actually able to wear the headset and practicing how to operate robot through this virtual environment. Actually, this is a very popular use case for the VR headset. Now with advanced technology and very detailed operations of <sighs> Apple Vision Pro you're able to maybe have a super robot being invented very soon. Do you agree with what I said? Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. The third use case is executive meetings. Why have I emphasize on executive meetings was that Apple Vision Pro is very expensive. Not everybody is able to afford it, but I believe all those top executives, like CEO of Uber, any other top five uh, Fortune 500 CEOs is going to actually order this for the entire executive team. So they're able to have remote meetings and feel like you're just in Marvel's movies or just like in Star Wars movie. Hello there. You're able to have real life, real human interaction meetings with each other wearing the Apple Vision Pro. The same technology can work on FaceTime right now. But how it works is if you want to project the 3D image of yourself and also use the tracking methodology to understand where your hands looks like and how your facial expression look like. And this is going to be the future of meetings. The fourth use case is human computer integration. This is not that far out. This actually has been talked about, being researched by Elon Musk companies such as Neuralink. He has been talking about it the whole time. Maybe in the future, there'll be lots of cyborg, but you don't need to do integration between you and robot. And actually, you can carry the robot with you in the VR headset through Apple Vision Pro because it's going to replace all the computers, all the screens. You don't need any projectors anymore because you're able to project the screen right in front of you, any application, zoom in, zoom out using the little movement of your finger. And what if you're able to have the super analysis right in front of your eyes using the smart computer vision and analyze everything around you and reflect back to you through the Apple Vision Pro. And this is not just something we talk about today has been experiment and use. And this has been researched by lots of people. And just like all the movies you can see today, it's projecting the future. And I believe this technology is going to be very revolutionary once we reach that stage. This is also going to introduce another very interesting business concept discussion. If you're able to integrate VR goggles with computers and with human, and nobody will buy computers anymore, nobody will buy cell phones anymore, which just means Apple is going to kill its own revenue in the future? Well, I don't think they're stupid. They probably have another way to integrate everything together. We shall see. Use case number five is simulated dating experience by integrating with AI. Kind of creepy, it's kind of true right now. If you look up online, after the invention of ChatGPT, all the AI application blew up in the world right now. If you search on Twitter right now, you're able to use AI-generated image to create very good looking men and women and that just looks so realistic and but super future good looking what if you're able to integrate the ai generated avatar with amazing plus personality that matching you and projecting it back to your apple vision pro and you're able to experience your perfect date and live in your own virtual world and you're also able to use a little dial on top of your uh, vr goggle to increase and reduce the virtual versus real life experience as well and then it's likely we'll have less fight everybody will date their virtual girlfriend boyfriend will have fewer babies in the world that's also a disaster but i also think that might be the first 
application that very addicting to lots of people out there. Very creepy, very dangerous. If you're interested in how VR and AI going to change our world uh, further, and make sure to check out all the videos where we talk about different applications of AI and technology in this playlist. Make sure to subscribe, comment, and like this video, and let me know if you agree or disagree with all the use cases I just described. This is Dr. Nancy Lee from PMX Editor. I'm going to see you in my next video right here.